All right, so uh, this is to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. I uh, weekly general tarot reading March 9th to March 15th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So moving to the first card, which represents the topic of your week Aquarius, that is to be the nine of uh, cups. And standing next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. And that will be the energies of the three of wands. Then it is the challenges that you will have to stand against. Um, that will be the six of pentacles. Moving next, uh, we do have the queen of cups, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. And then it is uh, what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around. That will be the Four of Swords. And uh, the last one here that we do have, it refers to the guidance the Tower is offering. Uh, that will be the King of uh, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so um, it looks like that that will be a very positive week for you guys. Uh, for the reason being is that through all those energies, whatever plans you had for the week itself, should you decide to execute those plans, and I'm again stressing this out, should you decide to carry on with whatever you have originally planned, it looks like that uh, your expectations are to be met. So the thing is going to develop exactly the way you have expected it to develop. That being said, if you are expecting bad things to happen, bad things are going to happen. However, uh, you are to be prepared for those things to happen, for those bad bad things to happen and therefore taking air precautionary measures, you are to diminish the negative impact upon your environment and upon your life in general. Uh, ultimately said here, you are to be satisfied of the results regardless of are those, are those results are going to be bad or are going to be good because sometimes you just have to finalize something and you know that it's going to end up badly. But in this case, should that be the case, uh, you are to be once again a prepared for it and you are to diminish the negative impact almost closing it to a zero but for those who are expecting good things to happen actually uh, you are to find them to be quite of a um, a trampling for yourself what i mean is that from those good things more good things can happen so it's like a a, a chain reaction that you are to have however that chain reaction manifests from that week in moving forward. So throughout this week, you're just going to have the initial momentum or say the patterns established or you are to establish the patterns through which uh, that chain reaction of good things happening is to be displayed in front of you. There is a catch though with those couple of cards. Um, longevity is not granted, nor from the Three of Wands, nor from the Nine of Cups. Now, True Nine of Cups, it kind of means uh, wish coming true, life of fullness and um, joy, exhilaration, ecstasy at some points. Uh, but uh, it does refer only to the uh, initial success. So say you want a uh, lovely relationship, you got that lovely relationship. Just for example, what happens next though? Is that relationship granted to be yours for the rest of your life? Not of course. I mean, you have to do something to deserve it. I mean, you have to do something to sustain it. So uh, with these cards, the uh, easy part is to get to where you want to be. The hard part, though, it is to sustain yourself or to stabilize yourself at the place that you want to be. And same is valid for the energies because these energies gives you the opportunity, which is to be a bit challenging in a sense of that it will require more from what you have incorporated up until this moment. But it is nothing that you cannot cope with. It is nothing that you cannot tackle with as well. And uh, with those energies, uh, they are kind of like very common for those people that does not know what they are capable of and those energies comes around so they can understand at the end of the day what they are capable of and how far they actually can go. But nonetheless, if we look trivially at the Tree of Wands as an energy card, those energies are going to bring your ship into the harbor and you just have to jump into it. So uh, that, that being said, you have to grasp on the, it's not even an opportunity, but the challenge 
to do better and to be better and to expect better and to sustain yourself exactly at the place that you want to be or with the person that you want to be or with the job that you want to be and uh, so on and so forth that of course resides within the plans that you have made throughout this uh, throughout this week uh, March 9th to March 15th 20, uh, 2020 and uh, a nine of cups is very tricky card guys uh, once again yes it does give you happiness but you have to do something to once again sustain it so um, the question here is not am I going to have uh, progress. The question is how to capitalize on that progress. What you can do to transform that short-term success and short-term happiness into a long-lasting one. So maybe uh, you have talked with your partner about getting engaged and your partner is kind of giving you hints that they want to do so. Well, there you go. Do something about it. Buy them a ring, right? And then propose them and actually propose them. Do something to transform that um, short-term happiness of having a green light into a, a consolidated long-lasting one moving next uh, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome six of pentacles only points that you have to tackle it alone you can't expect that someone else is going to do it for you or as a matter of fact is going to help you through it as well because the six of pentacles it is about a, a help that only postpone if you decide to uh, allow that help to come around but also it's a positive card into that position telling that you have what it takes and if you think that it's uh, whatever challenge you are facing here and challenge in a good aspect it's overwhelming that is because you are not fully aware of what you are truly capable of and therefore that is a even bigger reason for you to try it out and to truly see you know how far you can go either career wise relationship wise or why not with the entirety of your life as well uh, and another thing about the six of pentacles it is to um, kind of accept that uh, that is something you gotta go through or that is something that you have to experience one way or another because once again six of pentacles it's about hierarchy and maybe you don't want to go through it maybe you want the easy way around there is no easy way around so it's either um if not anything else i'm sorry that endeavor here is going to give you a valuable lesson once again how uh, how far you can go if you push yourself close to the outer limits and the uh, next one it is uh, the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week and that will be the Queen of Cups. So we do have a person here that appears to be a blessing to you. Uh, that person will encourage you to follow your feelings and to really nurture them, cherish them, because only the feelings of one person matters. And um, I think I explained it with Capricorn. I will explain it here as well. For tarot, feelings are very different for, from emotions, okay? Because um, love is emotion. You can love someone as much as you like but that person may make you feel bad with their behavior you know with their words uh with their actions as well and you have to follow your feelings not your emotions with the queen of cups additionally to that this person as well as going to encourage you to do so they will help you to um maintain balance in terms of uh, your eagerness to jump forward into action and uh, kind of think carefully what kind of a plans you do have for the distant future that is very common with the queen of cups it is uh, for a simple reason that that queen of cups loves you maybe not romantically it could be but maybe not romantically as well okay it could be a good friend of yours the best friend of yours uh, it could be your mother as well that just wants to see you prevailing wants to see you happy and therefore is trying to uh, kind of amplify your awareness that regardless of how well the things are going on they can always get worse so you should kind of like not rush the things around but rather do uh, take some time to uh, make your planning and finally that is a person who is extremely discreet meaning that uh, there is uh, you can talk with them about literally everything that is going on into your life and if you need to to kind of like um, lose the steam you know release the steam 
through shouting out about your problems. Well, that is the blessing that you do got here for throughout the week. Um, next one, it refers to how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is the impression of the Four of Swords. So people are going to see you very peaceful, very calm, very uh, calculative as well, thinking very carefully uh, about the strategy, how to move forward, seeing how much um, you value it, you know, whatever challenge it is in front of you, whatever opportunity, not even opportunity, but situation is given to you that makes you happy. So people were seeing you that you don't want to lose it because you actually know how much it works for you. And if that situation regards to another person, say love, that card points that this person only going to take you more seriously than before seeing how much you actually care for the interaction with them, for the dating with them, you know, or you care so much. Uh, more than they have anticipated for getting engaged, married, um, having a children, and etc. etc. Once again, depending on the plans. And for a reason that you don't want those plans to go into ruin, people were seeing you very serious, carefully analyzing the best strategy that you can adopt here in order to manifest those plans as easy as possible, harmless as possible, and as safe as possible as well. And uh, the last one that we do have, it is the King of uh, Pentacles, which represents uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering. So uh, with the King of Pentacles, uh, it's highly related to the um, challenges that you will have to face. Uh, literally, the King of Pentacles points that uh, you are going to get exactly as much as you invest, because uh, this is what the King of Pentacles does. It invests and then gets reciprocally with a little interest, you know, but it literally points that without any effort or without any investment, either emotions, money, uh, time and uh, attention as well, there won't be any results whatsoever. Additionally to that, the King of Pentacles is someone who knows the true value of their possessions. And therefore, uh, if you, how can I say it, don't see that um, new circum these new circumstances as something that makes you feel happy, well, then maybe you have to reconsider or think again how much you can gain from it. Now, the King of Pentacles, I don't like it into that position because it kind of points that at, uh, at the initial stage, you may uh, not see the true potential of whatever circumstances are appearing here, okay? Giving the three of wands as well because they're gonna be challenging and it will require from you to push yourself a little bit more than before, uh, kind of placing yourself out of the comfort zone so you can spur out and expand in these kind of stuff. Uh, but it is quite necessary, necessary for you to grow moving forward, not to mention to uh, face the expectations of your plans. And finally, as I said, the King of Pentacles values whatever uh, endeavors or whatever um, gains he does have at that point, whatever situations he does have at that point, he never goes for something new um, unless everything that he possesses is secure. And you are not going for anything new here. You are expanding. That's different. Going for every, for anything new means, for example, going for a new relationship, abandoning your current one. These cards does not refer to that. They refer to expanding into your current relationship. They refer to expanding into your current job. They refer to expanding into your current interaction and not jumping into a new interaction. Or expanding on your um, love life, meaning associating yourself with more people if you don't have a person of interest. But having the King of Pentacles here, it means that you have to be 100% sure that nothing can happen, for example, with any of you that you currently know before you jump into exploring new horizons. So that being said, Aquarius, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Um, March 9th to March 15, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website. Um, and there you're going to find a variety of services and what, whichever service suits your best uh, upon purchase, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours, giving you an, a, a details how the reading is going to take place. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.